In a sea of flops and pale imitations, these are the clean slates that succeeded on the small screen. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best TV reboots. This requires stealth and mobility. Leave it to the pros. We're looking at television remakes and reboots of properties with existing television series and or movies, excluding continuations, sequel or prequel series. Let's get to it. Hello. <laughs> I was afraid you got lost. Number 10, Lost in Space. The 1960s original was beloved in its time. Then came the 1998 film adaptation starring William Hurt, Matt LeBlanc, and Gary Oldman. It was definitely lost, but mostly just in action movie cliches and cringe-worthy dialogue. Jeb, where are you, buddy? This cold boy. Just got hot. So when fans heard about Netflix's 2018 reboot, they could have been forgiven for seeing Danger ahead. Danger, Will Robinson. However, thanks to a solid story arc, a compelling cast, and high production values, the new Lost in Space actually won respectable ratings from critics and a new following of dedicated fans. Catch. The Robinsons might have been lost again, but this time in all the right ways. Number 9. V To this day, the original V miniseries created by Kenneth Johnson is considered one of the best pieces of sci-fi television of all time. These visitors assure me they have come in peace. The original is definitely worth checking out, but if you want a bit of an update, you should give the 2009 reboot a watch. We're far from home. Et nous avons besoin d'eau et de minéraux pour survivre. Ces éléments sont facilement disponibles. A few things were changed the second time around to better fit contemporary concerns, perhaps the most interesting being the portrayal of propaganda through the visitors' offers of universal healthcare and clean energy. Get down! The 2009 series was cancelled before the story could come to a close, but it still stands as an excellent update to the original. Number 8. The Twilight Zone This series has been on quite the journey. There have been several attempts to revive Rod Sterling's sci-fi anthology classic. Hurry! Hurry! He's out there! A film adaptation in 1983 received mixed reviews and became notorious due to a fatal helicopter accident on set. A revival for TV in the mid-80s did moderately well, but the next attempt in the 2000s was a huge disappointment. Then came Jordan Peele, Simon Kinberg, and Marco Ramirez's 2019 revival, with Peele as narrator. These guys are like, oh, we're gonna go to a comedy club, we're gonna heckle the comedian. <laughs> Tell everyone how much money we made! While the first season had its detractors, critics generally agreed that it was thought-provoking and relevant, and most definitely an improvement on the mediocre revival of the 2000s. If you've only heard one thing about Flight 1015, it's probably the passenger, Justin Sanderson. Sir, return to your seat. Video of the investigative journalist causing a disturbance on that flight was uploaded online moments before the plane disappeared. Number 7. Voltron Legendary Defender The Voltron franchise originally spawned from an anime called Beast King Go Lion. When World Events Productions gained the rights to air the anime, they made extensive edits, changes, and censors, rebranding it as Voltron Defender of the Universe. Go! Go! Voltron Force! Because of these changes, Voltron grew to be its own world and story, producing multiple follow-up series, including an American-produced reboot. Um... Got it. Now let's try this. Voltron Legendary Defender, produced by DreamWorks Animation, has seen massive critical and commercial success since it dropped on Netflix, due in no small part to its brilliant writing, smart updates, and breathtaking animation, courtesy of Studio Mir. We are the universe's only hope. We're with you, princess. Number 6. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic it's hard to think of a toy slash cartoon franchise more successful than My Little Pony. My Little Pony, My Little Pony, everywhere you go, a smiling face. 
Though the original cartoon and tie-in merchandise was incredibly successful with their target audience, the reboot series My Little Pony Friendship is Magic has drastically outperformed its predecessor. Now, why don't I introduce y'all to the Apple family? Thanks, but I really need to hurry. This year's Apple Fritter, Apple Bumpkin, Red Gallop, Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Caramel Apple, Apple Scoodle, Apple Tart, Baked Apples, Apple Brioche, Apple Cinnamon Crisp, Big Macintosh, Apple Bloom, and Granny Smith. Friendship is Magic has gained fans from all walks of life across multiple age groups, with the brony movement garnering the most attention. Junior speedsters are our lives, skybound swords and daring dives. This reboot series has been praised for its universal humor, constant upbeat tone, and complex themes despite being a children's show. Hey, if you want to hang out with party poopers, that's your business. I'd rather hang out with you. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Friendship is Magic's massive following proves that this reboot is miles ahead of the original. Number 5. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Since their indie comics debut, the heroes in a half shell have spawned a massive franchise consisting of multiple live action films and numerous different animated series. Who had the pepperoni and ice cream? Yeah, I want some of the jelly beans and mushroom. Though it's hard to compete with the nostalgic popularity of the 1987 cartoon, the 2012 reboot was an undeniable improvement in storytelling and animation. Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles managed to update and reinterpret elements of both the comics and the previous series. The Shredder is a crafty and patient foe who bides his time. But Sensei, you said Shredder lost whatever sense of honor he had left we'd never see him again. It also leaned much further into the Japanese elements of the turtles' lore, unfolding a dark, mature, and wonderfully strange world of mutants and mythology in New York City. You guys won't like it. I'll take the rest. No way! No, uh -uh. Back off! <laughs> Number 4. Daredevil For a long time, Daredevil was a cameo character on screen, appearing only in the animated series of other heroes. Then in 2003, he finally got his own movie, and it was pretty ordinary. The appalling 2005 spin off Elektra just rubbed salt in the wound. Everything changed, however, with the launch of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and its expansion into TV. So, what? You're just a couple of good Samaritans? Today's just my lucky day? I bribed the desk sergeant with a box of cigars for his mom. Our practice is relatively young, Miss Page, and we are aggressively pursuing new clientele. In 2015, the MCU brought us the dark, gritty superhero crime drama that the character deserved. Hey, but what does that look like? Like, what do you actually see? The world on fire. Although it was cancelled after three seasons, it was a glorious ride while it lasted, receiving praise for both its writing and performances, particularly for Charlie Cox in the title role and Vincent D'Onofrio as Wilson Fisk. Number 3. Westworld The best part about rebooting a movie as a television series is that glossed over elements of the original can be further explored and spread out over time. This is exactly what HBO's Westworld has done with the 1973 film. Is that something you always dreamed of doing, sir? Oh, my life! The original Michael Crichton film portrayed a Western-themed amusement park during a massive android malfunction. It's the code you added, sir. The, the reveries. It has some... Uh, mistakes. The TV series dives much further into the company behind the park, creating drama from the inner workings of the various branches and departments that keep Westworld running. You want to ask, so ask. Are you real? Well, if you can't tell, does it matter? Though the original is an undeniable classic, HBO's modern update has definitely earned its critical praise. Number 2. Hawaii 5-0 Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Hawaii doesn't actually have state police? <laughs> The original Hawaii 5 actually portrayed a fictional police force, albeit based on a real-life 1940s one that existed under martial law. Hey, I got 87 homicide cases under my belt, looking like this. Not in 110-degree weather, you don't, I'm just saying. 
The reboot series made things a little bit more realistic, as the premise focuses on a special task force created to deal with rampant crime in Hawaii. Take the lollipop out of your mouth, I can't understand a word. Look, I don't want to freak you out, but it looks like the skeleton key just went live. Okay, what does that mean? Someone's using it, dude. No, 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 that's problematic. But this isn't the only update to the original. There is, of course, the use of Zero in the title instead of O, and the characters in production were also treated to a sleek, modern upgrade in 2010, and the series is still running strong. Who knew that changing the O for a Zero could make for such an amazing show? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Ah, Scroogey, I see you know my newest employee. Your new job is with my sworn enemy. I can't be part of all your sworn enemies. I fought alongside one whom I considered a brother. But in war, ideals can be corrupted. And it was thus that Megatron lost his way. <sighs> is there going to be a quiz? <laughs> Could've gone better. I'm sure the king would not be happy to learn his son was wrestling alley cats. He's the prince? Scatter! Ah, it's my dirtiest cloak and it's still a bad disguise. Will you fight for the honor of Grayskull? Honor of Grayskull? Honor of Grayskull? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You'll have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Battlestar Galactica Though original series actor Dirk Benedict isn't a fan of it, the Battlestar Galactica remake garnered massive critical praise and a dedicated fan following. Where the original was a sci-fi epic, one that inadvertently sparked a copyright infringement lawsuit with Star Wars, the remake took things in a much different and much more unique direction. Every tank on the port side has ruptured, preventing all our water directly into space. 2004's Battlestar was a dark reimagining of the first series, making changes to the characters and updating the story with multiple layers and plot lines. Even though the show's quality started to decline in later seasons, it remained one of the most celebrated sci-fi series in television history, and is still our number one pick for the best TV reboot. Frack me. And there you have it, Battlestar Galactica takes our number one spot. But what did you guys think of our list? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And don't forget to check out this video.